Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture number 12. So, we have been discussing about the two body problem in that context we were working with uh, orbital parameters. So, which we also call as the classical orbital elements. So, we start uh, uh, again working out those parameters. So, if you remember in the last lecture we have derived. So, here objective is to derive classical orbital parameters which are a, a e i small omega capital omega and theta these are the parameters which we are going to work so, first of all let us go into the this b by integral we have derived this is b a square by 2 minus mu by r equal to minus mu by 2 a. Okay. So, if v is given and r is given, so a can be determined. Okay. So, we reorganize it to get that value. So, we write this as 2 a equal to minus mu divided by v a square by 2 minus mu by r or a equal to mu by 2 mu by r minus v square. V square by 2 minus mu by r equal to minus mu by 2 a this is ok V square by 2 minus mu by r if we absorb it inside. So, this term will come here and V square will go on this side. And if we little bit do the reshuffling here in this place. So, we can write it as mu r divided by 2 mu minus v a square or a equal to r by 2 mu by or uh, we will go on the next page. So, a equal to mu r by r we have taken here in this place. So, this is v a square r this is 2 mu and r goes in the numerator ok this is fine. So, a equal to and then we divide it by r again yeah, we will divide by mu ok. So, for on the next page then we will have a equal to r divided by 2 mu by r 2 mu by r minus v a square r divided by mu. So, mu mu cancel side. So, we will not have mu here. Oh, we are doing the shape. 
this is 2 minus mu we are dividing the numerator denominator by mu so mu here cancels out and this we get as 2 here in this place and this is v r square divided by mu so this is v r v square r v square r divided by mu so v square r divided by mu so this is the your first parameter determined here which is a we have other parameters uh, rest 5 are remaining so one by one will be working out but this is the way of working for the parameter a um, now before we do anything we will try to work out the eccentricity vector and from here also you can get the e value other ways of doing also this problem is there but this is one of the approach so here what we are assuming that r is known and v is known so if these two quantities are known so then immediately you can determine this see there are numerous ways of working problems in space flight mechanics and uh, all the pro ways of working out it may not be possible uh, to do it here in this place but as far as possible i will try to work out them like say uh, l equal to a times 1 minus e a square okay so if we know a from this place so a is known and l how we can know l we can know from we know the relationship h square equal to mu times l so l square will be h square by mu mu is known because this is a planetary gravitational constant and h will be known from h equal to r cross v because your r and v are known as the vector so here in this case what happens once the satellite is launched around the earth somewhere here from the ground station suppose satellite is launched it's a going in the orbit okay. so here it's injected in the orbit and thereafter it will follow certain orbit okay it will follow certain orbit so while this uh, satellite is injected here so at that time the inertial navigation system that sends you these values of r and v so you know r and v from there so if the h is from there the h will be known h magnitude becomes known its magnitude becomes known you can insert here the l will be known and therefore from here then e can be computed as l by a equal to 1 minus e a square or e a square equal to 1 minus l by a or e equal to 1 minus l by a under root so this way we can also compute it but i will show it through other way which uh, will be uh, used more frequently rather than using this sometimes it may be very useful to work out uh, using this expression rather than going into what i am going to derive but one of my objective as i told you earlier that while we have written r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta and uh, this we have reduced it to in the form r e cos theta equal to l or this we have written as r dot e equal to l Okay. So, here E is appearing as an eccentricity vector. So, I am going to show that E indeed this is an eccentricity vector and it appears as an uh, integral cons integration constant in the expression of the motion uh, equation of motion expression if we process it in a proper way okay. and from there also then we can derive E. So, there are numerous ways of doing making this uh, space flight mechanics problem and I will try to give you as much as possible uh, keeping in view the constraint on time. Okay, so, if, uh, let us start working with the finding out the eccentricity vector. So, finding
So, later on, later on I will tell you that what is the benefit of getting the eccentricity vector. Even if we do not know the eccentricity vector, it is ok, but uh, there are certain benefits which you will realize once I further progress. So, r double dot this is minus mu by r cube r, this is our basic equation we have been using for two body system problem system relative motion take cross product on both side take cross product on both side with h which is the angular momentum vector this is by taking with h d by d t this quantity we can write as r dot cross h because h is a constant vector from our earlier work this is r cube this is r cube minus mu by r cube r cross this is v so on the left hand side we have this is v cross h r cross r cross v or r cross h it is in this format so this part we are going to expand the right hand side of equation 4 we are going to expand So, we have there r cross r cross v r dot v r minus remember r cross here uh, r cross h in this one r and h they are perpendicular to each other because h is a vector which we have obtained as r cross v ok. So, therefore, h is perpendicular to both h and v. So, r dot v what this quantity is you can consider this as the component of vector v along the r direction ok. So, I will write it in a more proper way. So, here uh, before taking up this whole thing let us write this r dot v this equal to r dot So, dot product with it e theta uh, your r dot this quantity uh, here also this I can remove and write it in proper way r equal to r times e r cap dot. So, now uh, this is dot product ok. So, this becomes r r dot e r dot e r dot that is unit vector. So, this you get 1 and this part it vanishes. So, 
r dot v this equal to r times r dot. So, your r cross r cross v this gets reduced to r r dot r minus r square v. Okay, therefore, d y d t r dot cross h which is the left hand side this gets reduced to minus mu by going on the previous page mu by r cube mu by r cube times r r dot r minus r square v mu by r square r we are cancelling out. So, r dot r minus r v. And rather than writing this v, let us write this as in a more appropriate form this is r dot. Okay, and if we break the bracket, so this gets reduced to mu r dot r divided by r square plus mu r times r dot divided by uh, this r will go then so this gets reduced to r So, the left hand side again we write here d by d t r dot cross h r dot cross h and on the right hand side we have this quantity. So, this quantity is nothing but your uh, d by d t mu r by r as we can see it by expansion this is mu by r square with minus sign times r dot r and then plus mu r dot divided by r this is what we have on the previous page mu r dot r by r square so we have got it here in this format and there is a minus sign also minus sign is uh, okay minus sign is absorbed there so this minus sign is not there okay so with this now if we integrate with respect to t so integrating it this gives us we can write it like this because both sides are vector. So, this constant is going to be a vector and therefore, what we get here r cross h this equal to mu r by r plus b we will divide it and write it in this way which 
divided by mu r by r plus b by mu. and mu is missing here. So, we will put mu also. Now, mu we have divided on both sides. So, this is not required here. Okay. So, here b is a, a constant vector. Now, why we have written it, it will be shortly clear. You know that r by r, this will be an unit vector, but still we write it in here in this form and this I will write as e. So, e cap, e, e uh, overhead arrow, this equal to b bar by mu and why I am writing like this, it will follow from the other steps I am going to carry out. So, we have got here r dot cross h this equal to mu by r. I am taking the original form and working out. I just wanted to show you that uh, this quantity this will appear as eccentricity vector. Now, here again we have to do some trick. So, numbering of equation I have not done here till here it is numbered 4. This will I number as 5. From equation 5 r dot cross h equal to mu divided by r. Now, here we are going to work out. So, we take dot product with respect to r Why I am taking this dot product with respect to r? As we go on the previous page and see here, this is the e vector is appearing. So, if I take dot product with this e, so you know that this will get reduced to r e cos theta. Okay, and if I am able to get a conic section equation from this place, so that means this e equal to b by mu is verified. As will follow, just wait for some time. So, here this can be written as r cross r dot h equal to mu by r times r square plus r dot b. Here no you know this quantity is nothing but this is r cross r dot this is nothing but r cross v r dot is nothing but this is v and therefore, this is h. So, this becomes h dot h equal to mu r r square. So, here also we will simplify. So, this is mu r plus r dot b and this becomes h square equal to or h square by mu will pull on this side. So, this is r divided by b, no it is ok. Mm. 
Okay, right now leave it here. So R dot this is B, this is mu R plus B R cos theta, where uh, theta is the angle between R and B. Theta, this is the angle between R and B vector. So, if we take here R as common, okay, so this will be mu times B cos theta and if we take mu also outside, so this will be 1 plus B by mu cos theta. On the left hand side, we will have h square. So, this equation can be written as h square divided by mu this equal to r times 1 plus r times 1 plus b by mu cos theta and suppose we write this quantity as e b by mu is equal to e and here h square by mu equal to l. Okay. So, what we get here is the expression for the conic section. So, you can see that the same problem can be worked out in numerous ways in space flight mechanics. This is the beauty of uh, the basic mechanics, very interesting subject. Now, here from this place, it is a clear that B by mu this equal to E. And also, if we go on the previous page, b by mu we have written here as E means we take the magnitude of this. So, this will be b by mu magnitude. So, this will be E magnitude. Okay, so, from here we can see that E as is an eccentricity vector. So, b by mu this quantity is E the eccentricity vector. And also, h square by mu equal to L, which we have written as semi lattice rectum. So, this B we call this as the Laplace vector. Okay. So, we have proved that eccentricity is a vector and it was obvious also from the very basic equation this once we have written in the format R plus r dot e equal to l. So, that means eccentricity is appearing as a vector and here in fact, we have been able to prove that in it appears as a vector constant in the uh, while we integrate the equation of motion in a particular way. Okay. Now, we have to determine the expression for e. So, we have to find out this e vector.
we re we rearrange it like this and uh, this is our five and then this will write as 6 7 8 so if we take here this dot product because we have to determine the value of e because this is the dot product so we can write it this way now this is v cross here we are missing one vector this quantity is nothing but your v v cross h v cross h okay. so we need to work it out so we can simply write this as r dot cross h magnitude a square mu a square we have already written it outside we have taken it here in this place so this is fine or dot 1 by mu uh, let me check uh, verify it once from this place uh, dot h this is mu by r plus b mu times c and uh, so this is minus mu by r 1 by mu this is okay so dot product this is mu square this is fine okay so, this quantity is mu times r dot r is nothing but r square this quantity is r square by r square and therefore this gets reduced to just mu so this is plus mu minus 2 r dot cross h dot mu r divided by r and this can also be simplified it is very easy so we follow in the next step so the left hand side then becomes e a square this equal to 1 by mu a square and uh, in bracket r dot h whole a square dot h this whole square and from here we have minus 2 times minus 2 times I am copying the previous thing r dot cross h dot mu r by r dot mu r by r this is the dot product here okay. and plus mu mm. 
here we have missed out this is mu square so once we multiply it this will be mu square r square so this is also mu square okay so this is mu square no sorry uh, not here in this place the other place uh -huh. we are doing the mistake see if uh, this is fine this place it is mu square and not here this is mu square is here in this place because this part it cancels out okay so mu square it remains as a mu square minus 2 r dot cross h dot mu r r this quantity we have already written here okay so r dot cross h is a square and minus 2 r cross h mu by r plus mu square now this we can reshuffle this can be written as r cross r dot dot h mu here divided by r plus mu square to this is mu So, this is 2 mu by r and this quantity is nothing but your vector h. So, this is h dot product h mu square to mu h square divided by r plus mu square. Now, we have to evaluate this quantity. So, we if you remember that in the orbit, if this is the r vector, this is your theta, v vector will be here and r vector is here in this direction and this is the v vector and perpendicular to this orbit, the h vector is located. So, h is perpendicular to h equal to r cross v. So, it is a perpendicular to both v and r that means the angle between r dot and the h vector it is a 90 degree and therefore, that means we can write here r dot is perpendicular to h vector and therefore, this angle which will be sin 90 degree. So, this we can simply write as 1 by mu a square v h whole square because sin theta will be uh, the angle between these two will be 90 degrees. So, therefore, we can write this as v h square. So, minus 2 mu h square divided by r plus mu square. So, this becomes v square h square by mu square minus 2 mu h square by mu square r plus 1 and this implies e a square minus 1 this equal to v a square h a square divided by mu minus 2 h square divided by mu r. So, e square minus 1 
we have got this expression ok so we have e square minus 1 this quantity is v square h square divided by mu minus 2 h square by mu r minus 2 h square divided by mu r. So, we rewrite it and uh, So, finally, what we want to do, we want to express it in the format v square divided by 2 minus mu by r equal to something. In this format, we want to bring it. So, if I try to do this, so this is v square. So, h square by mu I will take outside and this becomes v square minus 2 h square div mu r times mu by h square. So, this is h square by mu v square minus h square cancels out mu square cancels out this is 2 by r and then 2 also we will take it outside. So, this is h square this is 2 divided mu v square by 2 minus 1 by r. Somewhere something dropped out. Two h square by mu r. Okay, v square h square by mu square. Here we have dropped out while writing this. The e square term is dropped out. Here this square term is there. So this square term is here. So we can write this as. If we are taking out, we will take out then uh, h square by mu square. So, if mu square is there, so if we take out mu square term here, okay. so this remains v square and here this will go as mu square. Okay. So, we get here 2 mu by r, here this mu square term will be there and this term will be mu by r. So, v square by 2 mu by r, this is fine. So, we can then rearrange it to v square divided by 2 minus mu by r. We wanted to get it in this format. So, v square by 2 minus mu by r, this is equal to mu by 2 h square times e square minus 1. Here also this is mu square missing. So, this is mu square. So, now you can see that this quantity which we have written as earlier if you remember e prime. So, this is nothing but mu square by 2 h square e square minus 1. So, this is another way of working this and from here you can further investigate it. Two times h square equal to mu times l. So, we can write it in this way. 
we have to go to the next page. So, from this place v a square by 2 minus mu by r mu by r this equal to mu a square e a square minus 1 divided by 2 mu l ok. So, right hand side we have e a square minus 1 2 mu and l equal to a times 1 minus e a square. So, this gets reduced to mu times 1 minus e a square to a times 1 minus e a square. So, if we cancel out this term and this term, so we get here minus mu by 2 a. So, v a square by 2 minus mu by r this equal to minus mu by 2 a. So, this is another approach we have uh, derived this v a square by 2 equal to minus mu by r mu 2 a and you remember here that uh, if your v and r are known. So, h will be known to you and mu is known and therefore, e is also known from this place. So, this expression can also be used. We will write some other expression also. See if all these expressions are required while solving different problems at different times. So, this is one way we have got the expression for e e prime equal to minus mu by 2 a and earlier also we have worked out here see if uh, here also we have worked out in this place using this here e prime and using this expression we developed it and by developing this we came to the conclusion that e prime equal to minus mu by 2 a. So, for the same thing again we have been able to derive, but this we have done in another way. So, there are so many ways of working the same problem and each of them will be useful while solving certain problem. It is not that if we know one then it is enough, we need to know um, all the ways of working out the problems. So, if we uh, in this way once we know all these quantities, so we will be able to carry work out this E also. So, the explicit equation for E we are going to write further, but uh, once you know that uh, A is related to uh, L is related to A times 1 minus one minus e a square and some or other your l is becomes known which is nothing but h a square divided by mu a one minus e a square. So, already a we have determined. So, using this expression we can get e ok. Another expression for e we will do it in the future. So, this way we have been able to work out a and e. The uh, in E these two parameters are available, the rest remaining are i small omega capital omega and theta these are the remaining four we have to work out. So, we will stop here and uh, ok uh, just uh, one minute I will take more and uh, do one final thing that uh, showing that E and H are also perpendicular to each other. So, E vector is R dot cross H as per our earlier derivation take dot product with H. So, this is R dot cross H
So, this quantity here you can write as r dot h cross h divided by mu minus this quantity here becomes r cross r dot divided by r. So, you can see this quantity is 0, this is 0. So, here r this part gets reduced to 0 and minus here again this can be written as r cross r dot r dot divided by r. So, this also gets reduced to 0. So, therefore, this is 0. So, e dot h they are perpendicular uh, this equal to 0 this implies that e and h they are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so, we will wind up here and uh, we will continue with the uh, orbital parameters because we have to work out the rest for. So, next few lectures we will wind up this topic. Thank you very much for listening.